Hey, what's going on? Juan here. So Home Assistant allows tweaking the default theme directly from the web interface. For example, you can set it to use light or dark mode or have it set to change automatically based on your system preferences. You can also change the primary color and the accent color to whatever you want. However, with the help of custom themes, you can tweak more things and make the web interface look the way you want like adding a custom background to the dashboard, making the corners on the cards rounded, change the cards drop shadow, and much more. So in this video, I will show you the ways you can set up custom themes in Home Assistant. I'm also going to share a few of my themes so you can use them with your Home Assistant instance. To use custom themes in Home Assistant, you need to add two things to the configuration of YAML file. You can access the configuration files directly from the Home Assistant web interface by using the VS Code add-on or the File Editor add-on. When you access the configuration files, open the configuration.yaml file and anywhere on the file enter frontend colon and below it enter the following. Save the file and then you need to create a folder named themes in the config folder. This will be the folder where all custom themes will be saved. Next, restart Home Assistant to apply the changes. One way to install a theme is by adding the file to the themes folder. So for example, the theme that I have here is based on the iOS dark mode theme. You can open the themes folder and copy the file's name. Then in the Home Assistant config folder, create a new file in the themes folder and paste the name for the theme, including the .yaml extension at the end. Then go back to the theme you want to install open the file and copy the content. Go back to Home Assistant and paste the content in the file you just created. Save the changes and restart Home Assistant. After Home Assistant is back online, to set the new theme, go to the Profile tab and under Theme, click on the drop-down and select the new theme. If you go back to the Overview tab, you can see the tweaks made to the web interface. This is one way to install custom themes. However, the easiest way to do it is via the Home Assistant Community Store, aka Hacks. If you're not familiar with it, Hacks provides a web interface in Home Assistant to quickly discover and install custom elements like custom cards, themes, and custom integrations. If you don't have it installed yet, I do have a video tutorial that shows you how to set it up. You can find a link for that video in the description below. So to install a theme, go to Hacks, click on Front End, and then click on Explore and Download Repositories. Uncheck the Loveless option to browse the available themes in Hacks. Then select the one that you would like to install. For example, here is the light version for the theme that we manually set up before. Open it and then click on Download this repository with Hacks. Leave it set to the latest version and then click on Download. After the theme downloads, you don't need to restart Home Assistant, so just go to the Profile tab and select the new theme under the Themes drop-down. If there is a theme that you would like to download but is not available via Hacks, you can add the Themes repository in Hacks and easily download it to your Home Assistant. To do this, copy the URL of the theme's GitHub repository, then in Hacks, go to the front end, click on the icon with the three dots at the top right, and click on Custom Repositories. Paste the URL for the theme on the repositories, then on the category, select Theme. Click on Add, and the theme will now show as a new repository. Open it, and click on Download this repository with Hacks. Leave it set to the latest version, and then click on Download again. That's it. If you go to the Profile tab, you can see the new theme added to the Themes drop-down. When you change the theme on one device, it doesn't change the theme to be the default for any device that you access Home Assistant. You would actually need to run a specific command to set it up to be the default theme. To do this, go to Developer Tools, Services, search for Set Theme, and select the service FrontEnd.SetTheme. Under Theme, set the theme that you would like to set up as default. Then enable Mode and choose either Light or Dark. Lastly, click on Call Service and repeat the process for the other mode. If you are setting up a theme that supports both light and dark mode, like the macOS theme that we just downloaded, leave the theme selected and just change the mode when you call the service. The last thing that you need to do is to go to the Profile tab on all your devices and set the theme to Backend Selected. 
Now when you access Home Assistant on any device, it will display the new custom theme that you set up as the default. There are some very nice themes available in Hacks that you can browse and install in your Home Assistant. You can also find my themes in Hacks by just searching for Quantum Tech. Some of the themes that I made are for example the iOS theme which is based on the iOS system wide light and dark mode. Another one is the Google theme based on the Android light and dark mode theme. My latest one is the macOS theme based on the macOS system wide light and dark mode. However, at the time of this video, the macOS theme is not yet available in Hacks, but you can add the repo the way I showed you before. You can find a link for the GitHub page in the description below. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video.